In this daily video, I'm going to guide you on how you can create a full stack URL shortening website with AdSense, AdMob, Astra, and a lot more. And I'm going to simply guide you step by step on how you can achieve this, okay? I'm going to give you the script for generating these two websites. And I'm going to simply show you how you can host this particular website for free and also get a free domain for yourself, okay? And at the end part of this very video, I'm going to give you a bonus tip. So if you're ready, let's get into the video right away. Head over to your deep seek right here start now when you click on that it's going to simply take you to this very section where you can easily give a prompt okay this is the prompt you're going to simply give this particular two website this is it before we copy this prompt and give it to deep we want to simply head over to infinityfree.com right so this one is going to simply give you a free subdomain that you can easily use for this okay but if you want this to work for you perfectly you can as well go ahead and get a normal website for yourself like um your name your website.com right that is very much professional if you have your own website okay but for now we're going to simply use this free domain to create this too so you need to do that now simply click on this register button you have to sign up on this platform for this to work for you okay so these are the plans on this platform startup premium super blah 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 okay but we're going to simply be using this uh um, free plan right here because we're not going to pay money right then click on this um create now okay click on verify I'm going to simply be using this woozy.com, right? And then you have to add whatever name you want to give your two, okay? Alright, so this is link STN, alright? I'm going to check the availability. The, the website is available for us, okay? You have to simply go ahead and copy this link. When you copy this link, then fall back to, back to the prompt you're going to give to DeepSeek, okay? so you have to simply make sure you give it this prompt my domain name is make sure that you copy and paste your domain name right here okay let's say this is my domain name when you customize that click on this and highlight and copy this okay deep seek and paste it right here Okay, let's wait for it to load. So let's scroll down a little bit. What we have to do right now is simply get to this session that says step to deploy you can show why this is what it said upload all the files to your infinity hosting the step we should import the db sql file into a database and also upload the dp php to a database credential okay then we can test the link the website by visiting this particular link okay so if you visit this link right now you're not going to see anything because the files has not been uploaded all right the first thing you need to do is simply locate the db dot sql okay click on this copy button right click and then select the new right here then click on this folder then add the name all right so when you open it then do the same thing right click and click on this new button select test document okay okay open it and then paste in the db file paste the file you copied here okay then click on this file section click on save as copy this paste the file here db.sql then click on save button after saving that just minimize a little bit come back here this is HTSS. Then click on this copy button. Come back here. Then I like this. Paste the file here. Click on this button. Save as. Make sure you save it as the same file name, alright? This is what we have now as the file name dot HTSS. Don't forget about that dot button right there. Then come here, paste it right here. Dot HT access. 
then click on save okay we are done with this when you're done saving all the files you can go to your file manager from here then you're going to see all the files you've already selected right here you can see when this is done then come back to your file from this section go to the file you were creating before you can then come to this section that says email consent click on approve then click on create account the hosting has been created for us okay so this is what it said here it takes 72 hours for the new domain to be accessible everywhere okay so the next thing we're going to do right now is simply host all of the files we've already created so to do that click on the file manager then click on this ht docs this is where you have to upload the ht access file okay so for you to upload that then come here to this session come to this box okay the ht access drag it come here then you paste it here then it is uploading all right so it has been uploaded then mark this this and this okay when you mark the three just drag them the way they are you can see the three has been selected come back here then paste them here all right so the three of them has been added then copy this this scripts three and four highlight them there with the way they are then come back here press them here too all right so click on this db php then click on this edit all right so when you click on this session come back to your hosting which is the free hosting then click on this then click on create database and so this is what we have url underscore short now then click on create database 
all right so database has been created then the next thing you have to do right now is simply copy this username then come back to the file you were trying to edit this is where you have to replace your username from here okay underscore three make sure it is correct if zero underscore three okay then you have to simply show this password here copy the password as well copy it come here look for where it says your password your database password okay just highlight from here right there after pasting that then for your database name which is this one up here come back here look for your database name okay then select this come to this session come to database name paste that all right it has been added let's go to the host this is the host name right here copy this then come here paste it right here replace then hit on this save button and after saving that click on the close button all right so just come back to that same page click on this my php then hit on this import button click on this choose file then click on this and open scroll down here click on go button then go to structure then go to url just go back to your account then go back to the same url we selected when we're creating the account okay so the free url that is the domain name then come here copy this copy the domain name if it is loading all right so you can show right here the domain is working perfectly so this is going to simply take like um 72 hours for this to be optimized okay and, and this is where you can simply paste any link and click on the shorten button to shorten it okay while we'll wait for the optimization of the okay so when you log into your agitator account just click on this ad website when you click on that then you have to simply add the name of the website you want to add right here, okay when you come here copy this the way it is okay remember they are still optimizing it okay come back to this website section paste it right here then select the category you want to go for let's say i want to go for url shot now all right then click on this banner section then i'm going to simply select banner 468 times 60 because this is going to give us higher cpm all right then click on this add button it's going to simply be approved in few minutes okay so let's wait for it it is still pending at the moment so this is going to simply take like few minutes to be approved all right and click on this refresh button to see if it is done all right so the website has been reviewed and approved okay then click on this section that says um, add unit and we're going to simply see the banner ad which is already active okay then click on this get code button click on copy go back to your file manager from here then locate your index.html then click on edit you can simply paste the body from here All right so it has been added then click on the save button you can decide to add more right so let's go back to this website click on refresh button all right so you can show right here the ad is displaying right here okay so you can decide to add the ad in various places on the website okay for instance if i want to add the ad on this very section let's say for instance if i want to add the ad at the footer section all i have to do is simply copy this code then come back to my file from his section right here scroll down a little bit then scroll down a little bit to this footer section then you paste you hit on the control v all right 
the when you press that then click on this save button then head back to the website refresh it you can see right here we have two banner at the moment okay so this is the first one this is the second one so this is basically how it works if you found this video helpful hit that like button subscribe to this very channel and turn on the bell notification icon to stay updated on what we do here see you in my next video